Are you a disciplined player? What does that even mean when you're gambling? Let's look at a strategy that may help you become a more disciplined player. This is the five count seesaw created by Bubble Craps Tracker. After doing many tests and tracking thousands of rolls, this strategy seems to be able to hit a win limit in a short period of time, if the conditions are right. If you haven't used it, get your free Bubble Craps Tracker from the Google Play Store and check it out. It has tons of information that won't make you a millionaire, but just might save you a few dollars. This strategy is meant for the right conditions and takes discipline to walk away for a while. The win goal is $85 from our $200 bankroll. Take a break and then try again. I will test it straight at 300 rolls and see what it can do. There are three phases of this strategy and I'll talk about them as we play. Let's fire up the machine and see how we do. All right, so here we are at the boat machine. Now, what we're gonna start off with is a $25 don't pass. We have a $200 bankroll. Now, the idea of this strategy is to get in, get out. If I can get a 30% return, and this is even better, but what he's shooting for is 85 bucks. If he can get 85 bucks and leave, go hang out for a little bit, come back. And usually in testing, either it does really well in about 30 rolls or it does not. And we'll talk about those conditions too. But what we're gonna do first, we're gonna put a $25 don't pass. And we're gonna hop the one six, the two five, and the three four for $2 each, okay? If a four or 10 is our point, we're gonna put $40 odds, but we're only gonna do it for two rolls. And then we're gonna take those odds down. Okay, that's the first phase. The second phase is we're gonna, uh, on the sixth roll, we're gonna put out $30 on the six and eight, 25 on the five, and nine on the 10, and $10 on the field. We're only gonna let that go two rolls. If the uh, any of the box numbers hit, we're gonna take it down immediately. If, uh, if not, we're gonna let it go two times, and if the field hits twice, then we'll take them down, okay? Now, once those hit, we go to the third phase. And what we will do is we'll go to a one unit um, iron cross. So $6 on the six and eight, five on the five, and $2 in the field, okay? So uh, we'll let that run till there's 10 rolls. As soon as there are 10 rolls, then we'll start pressing, uh, collecting and pressing on our, uh, box, on our iron cross there, okay? So there's really three phases of this, okay? So we'll start off at the beginning. We've got $25 on the don't pass and see what we get on the come out. Now again, this is really made to get in and out. If there's a lot of outside numbers, he'll stop and not play at all. Again, it takes lots of discipline on this one. Again, if you're not, if you again, if you're seeing a lot of horn numbers, a lot of field numbers, it's just not great, then you know what? You might want to sit out and not even play. He'll watch 10 to 15 rolls before he even gets in to make sure he's ready to go. And that's where that tracker really comes in handy if you're using it. But here we go. Lots of explanation, but let's get to playing. And we have a 369, okay? So we have $25 on the don't. We're gonna wait five rolls before we start playing. And a one, four, five, that's one. Six, three, nine, that did not help us, that was terrible. Okay, so we're back out, 25 bucks. Six, two, eight. Four, two, six. Four, three, seven, okay? We just got our 25 bucks. So we've lost $12 and that was our uh, prop bets that we have on the come out. We're hedging a little bit, not a great, but hey, we're gonna try to maximize here, hopefully. One, five, six is our point. Ooh, we hit the point again, man. This is a hot table. And the seven. Okay, we hedged on that, so we didn't really, we just lost a dollar. Here we go. Five, three, eight. Here we go. Again, not a lot of crazy action at the beginning. Gotta wait to get going, but we'll get to our big hit. Six, five, 11. Here we go. 
Four, two, six. And the eight, the freaking point again, man. Oof. And back on the eight. Let's see if we can come back. A hard six. We haven't even got to test our big bet yet. Five, four, nine. Uh, aces. Okay, one more and we get to play big. One, five, six. Okay, so that was our six roll. We got one more to go. Okay, 10. Now we should have it. Okay, so now we have our big bets. 25 on the five, 30 on the six and eight. This is the second part of the strategy. I'll put that up there. This is our six rolls, so we're gonna go two rolls. Uh, if we hit the box numbers, we're gonna just take it down and go to a one unit. If we hit a field number. 12, nice. Okay, so we tripled the field. That was $30, okay? We get to go one more roll on it. And a four, okay? So now we're down to a one uh, unit iron cross. And uh, again, we came back pretty good. Let's see what happens. We're gonna do this for four. Oh, that's the eight, shoot. Man, killing us there, isn't it? This thing has hit just about every point. I think we've only had one or two seven outs so far. Again, we're staying with our iron cross. Again, we're gonna go for about 10 rolls and then we'll start pressing up. One, three, four, we collect a little bit of money. Uh, one, four, five, hey, you know guys, check it out. You know, go to the, uh, it's a free app. It's fantastic. I love playing it when I'm at the machine. Um, you know, it takes a little discipline to use it, but it sure does help. It saves you some money. Three. And seven out. Okay, so at this point we're down uh, 35 bucks. Let's see what we can do. Back to stage one here, right? 426, okay. This part's not too exciting, but we're trying to stay in for the long run. And if it goes out quick, it doesn't bother us. And a five. And a nine. And another nine. So, we are now at our money maker, right? We're at stage two, I'll put that up there. Collect our field for 10. And a 10. So we collect another field. So now that all goes down to a one unit iron cross. And we sevened out. Alright, now we're only down 15. We're coming back. That's not bad. We haven't got to stage three just yet, have we? Four, six, ten. Okay, now we got. We have uh, don't pass odds of forty dollars, and we're only going to do it for two rolls. And two six eight doesn't matter. And oh, hard ten! You got to be kidding me! Oh, that was terrible! Terrible! Start again. Oh, hard four. We're back at it. $40 odds again. So let's see if we can get it back. Seven out. Good. Okay. Still not bad. Not bad. Let's roll it. And five's our point. And we had a ten. And 
like a hard four. And that's a lousy looking 10. And another hard four. Wow, a lot of outside numbers. So at this point, he probably might be saying, hey, this isn't the time to play. And another outside 10. Okay, now we're up for our big bet. We're at stage two. The strategy's on the left. Uh-oh. Gotta bang the machine. Let's call it a hard eight. And we hit our box number. We would have hit it one way or the other. And now we're down to one in the uh, one unit iron cross. Here we go. So again, uh, if you watch the strategy up there, now we're at the iron cross. So after 10 roll, oh, seven out. We didn't even make it. So anyway, we're starting to regress and press. So again, we're only down $22. Let's go back to the first one. Five. I'm not sure I'm not showing it up here but I'm not sure that we really need the hedge but you know it's out there definitely want to save just a little money hard for five three eight with our big bets. We got two rolls. Let's go. Oh, well, we hit our big bet, but uh, yeah, the don't pass. So we didn't really go anywhere on that one, huh? Let's go again. Uh, that 10 shouldn't be on the field. Well, no, that shouldn't be on the field. Even though that would have been a triple hit, I took it off. But anyway, here we go. All right, but we got the hard four, so we got $40 odds. Here we go. I don't know why I have all this money up here. Uh, it's supposed to be two, but let's get these down. We're going to start over. All right. Actually, I'm not sure if I did that right, but two, three, five, we're okay. We'll go one more roll. Uh, five, three, eight, okay. So we're clear on our odds. And a seven out, okay. We should have done it one more roll, but we're, we're gaining back a little bit. Let's go back to our first. Hard four. Okay, so here come our odds. Let's hope for a quick seven out. Six. Hard ten. We didn't get our odds, but we're playing. And a five, two, seven. Okay, so now, now we're showing a profit. Hopefully we're in the right place at the right time. Let's go. Six. Nine. Six. Do good. And the, oh, the seven out. Okay, again, we're covered. We only lost a dollar. Or actually, we, we won a dollar. I'm sorry. Seven out. Nice. Okay, we're hanging in there. We're 74 rolls in, so let's see. There's our six. Just treading water right now, but we made money there. Here we go. Ace deuce, that is a lovely number. 
Ace deuce again. All right, now we're climbing. We're really only two hits away. Uh-oh, we're gonna call it a 10. Six, four, 10. All right, now we have our odds out. Let's go. Six. One more time, we hit our women, our limit. Six, three, nine, okay? We didn't quite get it, did we? One, five, six. One, five, six. R four. Okay, now we're out with our big bets. So we got two rolls. Let's do this thing. Nine, hit it. Okay, now, if you look at where we're at, we're up $68, so we're really close to our win uh, goal, okay? Seven out. So, we're at $74. Man, we just need one more, don't we? <laughs> Let's try it. Five, two, seven. Okay, so we want a dollar there. One, four, five. I guess the hedge was nice there. It did save us twice on this. One, three, four. Two, three, five. Shoot, we were so close. One went away. Three, six, nine. Deuce. All right, we're 92 rolls in. Let's see if we can get this thing. Usually it happens a lot quicker. But there were some rolls that he definitely would not have played. Probably would have waited a little bit. Um, again, the other thing is those, you know, we're hanging right in there with our bank roll. We're not losing quick. Uh, we're, we're hanging in there. One, four, five. See if we can get to our big roll. Ace deuce. Okay, now we're out there. We got two rolls to hit it good. And a hard 10, so that's gonna pay us 10 on the field. We get one more. And a hard four. Okay, again, a lot of outside numbers. He would probably be saying this isn't good for him. And a five, two, seven, okay? So, we are exactly 99 rolls and we've won $64. Uh, let's give it one more and see if we can hit it. Man, we're so close. One more hit and we got it. One, six, seven, okay? $65 we got. Okay, two, six, eight, let's go. One, four, five. Six, four, ten. Hard twelve, I guess that's the only way it comes. Five, four, nine. And another nine. Okay, here we go. Here comes our two rolls. Eight, the hard way. So we won on our uh, hard eight, or not our eight, but our eight that we had placed there. So we really didn't really didn't win anything. Okay, that's 107 rolls. I'm gonna stop right there. Right the second, we're $59 ahead. Okay. Uh, so we're doing pretty good. Not bad for what we've been playing. Uh, again, uh, it's about right place, right time, and having the discipline to stop. Now again, the, this is easy. <laughs> you just keep playing until you get there. The hard part is, is a lot of times this can get to $85 in 13 rolls. And usually you say, hey, well, I just got here. Well, you know what? 
take 10 minutes and then come back. Break up your sessions. Over the long run, they're gonna get you every single time. But give yourself a little bit of time. You know, uh, you know, just play 10 minute sessions at a time. If you can win 85 bucks in 10 minutes every time, why aren't we everybody doing that? Okay, so interesting strategy. Check it out. See what you think. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, test it out. Uh, it's very interesting uh, and a lot of fun to play. So until then, good luck out there. And stay safe.